As we're disassembling our Yamaha TTR 110 engine, we got to a spot where we thought we'd show what we were doing. And what that is, is we're going to take our camshaft out. Um, so this is a very common design that you would find on several different types of heads, four-stroke heads, but Yamaha uses this design on all kinds of machines. They're a little different, but the idea is the same. So what you need to remove these rocker arms and rocker arm shafts they need to be out of your way before you get your camshaft out and some designs the rocker arm shafts just lift just pull right out of there yamahas they fit pretty snug they even show like a special tool um to remove those rocker arm shafts and the camshaft as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're just gonna make the tool out of these parts here and uh pull these out so the concept is you need a miniature slide hammer, basically, and, and the camshaft is threaded, the rocker arm shafts are threaded, so you, you go, we're gonna thread this tool in here and then we're gonna pull them out. So, in order to do that, um, I've even used uh, one of the motor mount bolts, is this, or some type of bolt that's the right thread pitch that'll engage these components. And then you're gonna take your weight here. This is just a good old snap-on one inch heavy impact socket um, that should be enough weight to bang against this bolt and become a slide hammer so a few things we're gonna do this bolt actually goes to my one of my crankcase splitters and I don't want to damage the threads so I'm gonna actually wrap these threads in electrical tape that way the socket will slide smoother and it won't damage my threads and I can use this for another application if you had like a motor mount bolt um, the threads would probably only come down here and then it would be clean here would be like the shoulder of the bolt so you, you would work even better but this is what we're going to use here and so when this slides up those holes are pretty close to the same size so I'm also going to use a washer I'm just going to slide that on there and that way the slide hammer has something to actually engage when it's doing its thing there so let's go ahead and wrap some tape any tape I think would work I have electrical tape here I'm going to put a little up here in hopes that the uh, washer stays where it should up there. And like I said, there's a tool you can buy for this. I don't know how much that costs, but this you can make and just do it yourself. Now, our socket will slide nicely, not damage our threads. Time to move forward. So, since the rock arm shafts have to come out first, we're going to start with those. So, like I was saying earlier, this is just going to go in here, thread in. You want to go ahead and put it in until it seats, or at least make sure you got a good amount of threads engaged so you don't pull any threads out. It's all hard and steel. You should be good. Next. This is something that is very useful and when dealing with aluminum. This aluminum is going to heat up faster than this hardened steel. Aluminum will expand somewhat when it heats and that minor expansion is what's also going to release that rock or arm shaft. If you try to do this without heating it, you probably, it may come right, some come out easier than others. Who knows what kind of battle we're going to have, but uh, the heat makes a big difference. Please leave a service ticket if that's one of our customers calling right now. I'll get to you in just a minute. Okay, so one thing we forgot to do here too. Put our weight on. And then go ahead and re-thread that in. All right. Heat gun, torch, whatever. Be careful with open flame if you're gonna go the torch route. And being that this is a kind of a large piece of aluminum, it's gonna take a little while to get warm. And if you want, you can kind of try to, you can kind of see where the rock arm shaft is down in there and maybe you kind of want to aim your heat in that general direction. Um, and if you have an old oven or you're, you know, somebody who doesn't care about your oven, you can stick this in the oven and warm the whole thing up at once, you know? That's a super cool trick if you got it.
and I usually like to just kind of maybe it feels like it's getting warm we'll give it a try and see you know it's go hotter so hold your cylinder head firmly and let's see if this actually is gonna work and it looks like We may have a pretty pretty stubborn one on our hands here. So in that case, we'll add more heat. Let's try that again. That hasn't worked so far. We're gonna switch to a heavier weight. Um, this is a piece probably from some old slide hammer tool somewhere along the way. And it's kind of good this happened because this is kind of how it really is when you're working on stuff. Sometimes it looks really smooth and simple and well, as you probably know, it's not, not always. So let's try the bigger weight. Oh, we still got this head pretty warmed up. Go ahead and thread that in there. And we could have kept fighting forever with the small one but hey let's try something different and see all right now it's moving better boom you may want to try to avoid slamming your head down like i did but i think it's all right okay so there it is finally there's our rocker arm shaft out i think it survived fine and then before you go for your camshaft to the other side, go ahead and there is your rocker. It will come out of there. And that seems to be, seems to be stuck as well. So let's just leave that right there. While it's still warm, let's go for the next round there. So like I said a minute ago, hey, this is how it really is when you're working on stuff. Things don't always go how you think they would. Okay, so now we got our camshaft the same way. Boom, look, okay, that was warm. So that came right out of there. Nice and easy, that's where the heat helps. And there you go, fight a battle with one shaft, the next one just comes right out, so don't give up. All right, so our cam's out, and now that we've kind of went that route, I think I said earlier that you probably have to take these rocker arm shafts out. Um, thinking back, going through my brain, I think you can take this this camshaft out before you take your rockers out. So whether you need to disassemble your whole head or just do a camshaft like a cam swap. Um, looking at this engine now, I don't know if they're all the same, but this TTR-110 looks like you can get the cam out first. So now let's see if we can get a rocker out and maybe it'll come out. Maybe it'll come out this way. Here, I got some needle nose pliers over here. All right, cool. So it comes out that way nice and easy. I'm pretty sure I've read that they come out that out the inspection hole, and maybe they do, but maybe that's why you want maybe your camshaft out first. So that's out. So that's pretty much the process to get the other side out. Same thing, we're gonna thread our tool in. So just to kind of recap there, we made our slide hammer. We used a socket, and this has worked for me before. Like I said, some of these are way more difficult than others, so that didn't work. So it could be a bigger socket, whatever. What we basically did is just find something with a little more, a little more weight to it. And uh, as, you're, as you're driving it out, you know, just, just be aware that you don't sling your tool this way or drop your cylinder head on the ground and damage it. But uh, it can be a battle, just go slow and take your time, and uh, it, it is possible. So that pretty much concludes that procedure, and we'll go on and disassemble the rest of this engine.